If x plus 1 by x equals to 5, then the value of x power 4 plus 1 by x square divided by x squared minus 3x plus 1 is dashed. Options are 70, 50, 110 or 55. So look at this x plus 1 by x equals to 5. He is asked us to find out what is x power 4 plus 1 by x squared divided by x squared minus 3x plus 1 x squared minus 3x plus 1 this is equal to what so simplify this x plus 1 by x equals to 5 implies what x squared plus 1 equals to 5x right x squared plus 1 equals to 5x yeah x squared plus 1 equals to 5x and, and if i look at the expression that we need to simplify i have these terms x squared and 1 in the denominator so i can replace x squared plus 1 with 5x here right so some some simplification we have not arrived at the answer yet but there's some simplification right x square plus 1 equals to 5x so i can say this becomes and in the numerator i would like to take x common let's take x common in numerator what happens if we take x common we'll have x cube plus 1 by x cube right if we take x common we'll have x cube plus 1 by x cube so x into x cube is x power 4 x into 1 by x cube is 1 by x square divided by what are we doing in the denominator we are replacing x square plus 1 with 5x Right? We have understood that x square plus 1 is 5x. So replace that with 5x. 5x and minus 3x as it is. So 5x minus 3x is 2x and x by 2x will lead to cancellation of x there. So, so I think we have we, we are like close to getting the answer, right? We have x into x cube plus 1 by x cube divided by 5x minus 3x is 2x. So x and x gets cancelled. Now all we need to do is find out what is x cube plus 1 by x cube. Get that value and once you get that value divide by 2 to get the final answer and that also can be evaluated from this expression here and and we we know this very well that x cube plus 1 by x cube can be uh, you know obtained from the first equation here right cube on both the sides just cube on both the sides so what happens we'll get x cube plus 1 by x cube plus you know if you take 3 common we'll get x plus 1 by x i'm not discussing that in detail because we have already solved that multiple times i mean we have worked on these equations multiple times cubing on both the sides x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 times of x plus 1 by x you actually get 3x plus 3 by x we are taking 3 common now why are we taking 3 common because x plus 1 by x equals to 5 is known to us substitute this back here so we get x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 into 5 equals to 125 so from this what do we get x cube plus 1 by x cube equals to i think 125 minus 15 110 right 125 minus 15 110 done substitute this here in this place now so 110 upon 2 which is equal to 55 and i think that's the solution there's no other way out you have to follow this process otherwise you'll not get the answer so option 4 55 is the final answer option 4 55 will be the final answer it's not 110 it's 55 remember it's 110 divided by 2 110 by 2 110 by 2 is 55 okay quickly the next one try this now See what it says. If 3 minus 5x by x plus 3 minus 5y by y plus 3 minus 5z by z equals to 0, then what is the value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z? I think this should be easy, right? Look at this. 3 minus 5x by x plus 3 minus 5y by y plus 3 minus 5z by z equals to 0. Just, just try to split the terms here, right? 3 minus 5x by x is like, you know, 3 by x minus... 5 right because 5x by x is 5 plus from the second term we'll get 3 by y minus 5 and from the third term we'll get 3 by z minus 5 equals to 0 so if we take 3 common from all these terms 3 by x 3 by y and 3 by z what do we get 3 times of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 is minus 15 take it to the other side it gives you plus 15 so 3 goes 5 times and that's what we need, right? 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z equals to what? It is equal to 5. Look at this. Value of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. It is 5. Option 2. So simple one, right?